Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this represents my third budget here in this chamber. And for the third time, we will pass an on-time, balanced, no tax increase budget. I repeat, an on-time, balanced, no tax increase budget. For the third time, we will be able to keep our promise to our schools and our hospitals to get them their funding when they need it rather than stringing this out for months. Mr. Speaker, for the third time, we will respect our funding priorities while at the same time respecting our taxpayers. For the third time, we will ask the public sector to live within its means just like every person and every business does that we represent. For the third time, Mr. Speaker, we hear that the sky is falling. We hear that schools are closing. We hear that one out of six Pennsylvanians on taxpayer paid for health care is not enough. What I hear is that for some, enough will never be enough. And Mr. Speaker, if you think, as some do, that the state owns everything and just simply allows the private sector and the citizens we represent to keep what they choose not to tax, spending more, always asking for more taxes, talking about taxes that we could be getting but aren't, that kind of thinking makes sense. I want to talk for a few seconds about the priorities that this budget brings. Mr. Speaker, this budget creates a new equipment grant program, $3 million for career and technical schools across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Needed funding that our career and technical schools need to be able to provide the best education they can for a growing workforce. Mr. Speaker, for the first time, this state provides line item funding for the child predator unit underneath the Attorney General's office. These folks do wonderful work going out there to protect the most vulnerable among us. Mr. Speaker, this, this budget includes a $1.8 million increase for IT upgrades in the Auditor General's office so that they can do more in finding out ways that our state wastes the taxpayers' money. This budget keeps our commitment to public education. It continues our funding for necessary services in ALS support and Tourette syndrome. Mr. Speaker, this budget not only keeps our priorities to line items, but it keeps our priorities in respect for the taxpayers and the next generation. I ask for an affirmative vote. Thank you.